greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. We welcome you for today's service as we get to praise the Lord. Join us whether in your sitting room, whether in your bedroom, whether in your in your car, you can join us to praise the name of the Lord this evening in Uganda, in my good morning, wherever you are. But we're going to praise the name of the Lord. So join us as we give God the glory. He deserves all the glory, he deserves all the worship, he deserves all the honor, he deserves all the praise. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Because you friend, join us as you praise the Lord, who am I? Who am I that you are my full of me? Oh. That you hear me when I call. Is it true, Lord? Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? It's amazing. Rejoice wherever you are. Glorify the name of the Lord. He is worthy of your praise. Again, tell me. Oh, oh, oh. You can take a run. You can take a jump wherever you are. As you exalt the name of the Lord, tell him I love you, Lord. And this is all yours. Because I'm a friend, Lord. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a friend of God. I am a friend of God. Oh, oh, oh. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Oh, that you hear me when I call. When I call, Jesus, it is true. Is it true that you are thinking of me? How you love me? How you love me? It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm a friend of God. I'm a friend of God. Rejoice, 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 rejoice. I am a 
God, he calls me a friend. Shout to my Lord, tell him. I'm a friend in love. I'm a friend of God. Oh, 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 oh. I'm a friend of God. Oh, 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 oh. I am a friend of God. He calls me a friend. Listen to this. I'm a friend of God. 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 He calls me a friend. Gloria. Whoa, whoa. A friend of God, he calls me friend. It's my seed, my savior, redeemer, lifted me from the miry clay. Almighty, forever, I'll never be the same because you can me from the everlasting to the world we Father's only son, so you can be from the everlasting to the world we leave. The Father's only son, you live, you die, you rose again on high, you open the Savior, Redeemer, lifted me from the miry clay. Almighty, forever, I'll never be the same because you came here from the everlasting to the world we leave. If I was only sad, you came here. Everlasting to the world we leave. If I was only son, you live, you die, you rose again on night. You open the way for the world to live again. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He is worthy of your praise. He came, He died for your sake. He came to set you free. You are a child of God, He goes of God. She take a telebobos. The Kasani Shimurume alone is unto Yakufa. But you are praising the name of the Lord this now. Oh, 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 Lord, I will bless the Lord. 
rejoice, rejoice, yeah. rejoice. I will bless the Lord. Shata Katayevos. Yeah. I will bless the Lord. Yeah. Rejoice. Say, I will bless the Lord.
of you I will never stop with all your heart still oh God you are you are my God I will never praise you we'll never praise you and I will see All of my days till him I will seek you, I will seek you in the morning, and I will love to walk in your way and step by step you lead me and I will follow you all of Tell him again, I will seek you. All your heart, tell him, Oh God, you are. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever love you. Love you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will never leave to you. Oh God, you are my friend. I give you honor and give you worship. And I will never leave to you. For I will seek you in the morning. And I will love to walk in your way. And step by step, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. Let me hear you say, I will seek you, I will seek you in the morning from the bottom of your heart, and I will vow to walk in your ways and step. I stay, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. With all your heart, say, I'll seek you, I will seek you in the morning, and I will follow to walk in your way and say. I say, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. Sing it again. I will seek you. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways and step. By step, you lead me, and I will follow you all of my days. Ooh, God, you are my God, and I will ever praise you. Oh, God. My God, 
Ladies and gentlemen, you are all welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. So call and invite any person in your account, even outside your account. Take different measures. Make sure the word of God moves across as a Christian. Make use of this platform. Make use of Facebook. Make use of the uh, YouTube and other social media platforms. So use it. Don't spare any person. Please pray. Preach the word of God as you share. So you are moving life. You are moving life in, in other people's lives. So it's very, very important. So you do it and you do it now. 
now. In Jesus' name. Otherwise, we welcome you. You could be Jen. We welcome you. You could be Amos. You will welcome you. Whosoever that is watching, you are welcome to this platform. That is Pastor Moses Cassidy. Page. So, we welcome you. Ladies and gentlemen, we also believe that we serve God that answers prayers. He's here and we are continuing to testify that he has answered prayers and he's still answering prayers. So, whatever prayer you have is going to be answered. Whatever problem you have, God is going to attend it to you in the name of Jesus. All things are possible to whom who believes in Jesus' So today, we are sharing a beautiful and a lovely word of God that is going to transform our lives. As it transforms our lives, we will never be the same. We will never be the same. So we believe so that things are working out. Things are working out. For good to those who love the Lord. For good to those who love the Lord. So in case you are seeing things are not speaking the, the same the things are not speaking the same language you want but things are going to change and things are going to work together for good, for good to those who love the Lord in the name of Jesus so ladies and gentlemen bear with us today we are sharing a beautiful and a lovely word of God that is going to transform our lives and this word of God will be a blessing to us in the name of Jesus and this word of God concerns about the authority and this Authority we have is not by ourselves, but this authority was given to us by our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. So we are humbling ourselves so, to receive okufuna, any person Montiena, who receives afuna, who receives afuna, he humbles himself to receive. He puts in such a position to be a recipient. So today, we believe that Jesus gave us authority and we are going to receive it. As we receive it, we are going to use it. As we compare, as we see how our Lord Jesus Christ used this, the way he used this. It's the same way. We are going to use it. Let's go to the book of Luke. Luke chapter 18. Luke Verse 18. Is it there? Or verse 19. Luka kumina mnana. Kumina mnana. No muntu omukulu. No muntu omukulu. Omu na mubu zanga agambanti. Omu igiriza omulunji. Nkolechi okusikira obula mubuta guwao. Kumina muenda. Yesu na mugambanti. Ompitirachi omu igiriza omulunji. Tewali mulunji wabulo mu. Ye katonda. Uh-huh. Ruabidi. Amateka ogamani. Nti toyendanga. Totanga. Tobanga. Towa irizanga. Mm. Osanga mwechuti wa chitao nenyoko. Mm. Ruabidi mwolumu. Nagamba ntie bibyo nina. Nabiku watanga. Okufa mulubuto. Okufa mbuto wange. Uh-huh. Yesu wea ulira. Namu gamba nti. Ochawe. Ochawe. Ochawe buseko chimu. Tunda biyoli na biyo. Yuna, obigabira abafu, kale oliba na obu gaga muguru. Aha, you have to sell everything. You know, tunda biyuna. That when you sell everything, o tunda biyuna, that's when you have what? Ojo kuba, riches, obu na obu gaga, in heaven, muguru. 
riches in heaven. Muguru. Any rich person no mugaga, has power. I know man has authority. I know wins. Any rich person no mugaga, has power. I know man has authority. I know wins. Let's go to Luke chapter 10. Na Luke kumi. Uh, verse 17. Sule yoko mino unye yoko kumi na msamvu. Yes. Luka kumi kumi na msamvu. Yes. Awo abo ensamvu. Nebako maone sanyu. The Ngaba... 72 came back in happiness. Ngabaga ambanti mukama wafe. Saying our Lord Jesus. Neba daimoni batu uli na muli nyayo. Even what? Demons, Demons. obey. Hmm. Naba gambanti. Nalaba sitani ngavude muguru. And he told them. I saw Satan from o, heaven. Okugwango kumiansa. Like lightning. But I've given you power to step over serpents, serpents scorpions, and all powers of the enemy. Nothing shall do you bad at all. You see? The, in order for us to start up to receive and operate in heavenly dimensions. We need to sell what we have. That we receive what we don't have. And that we to release that we do that we receive what we don't have engeri yokufuna chetu talina is when we surrender kwe kubanga twewayo when we surrender uli wetwewayo like the disciples ngaba igrizwa surrender their lives to wawa yobula mwa bwe Yesu when they surrender their lives to wawa yobula mwa bwe Kristo they went out to preach bafuru mokubulira and when they went out to preach bage ndo kubulira they came back with the testimony bakoma ono obujulizi and said me bagamba wow wow even demons Name is Zimu. obey us. And then Jesus said, Yesu nabagamba, Don't be so happy that demons obey. You. But na ye, be happy because your name gamwe, is written in the book of life. Christian, friends, is your name in the book of life. Is your name present? The moment you have a testimony, evidence that your name is in the book of life, then it is. Then you are saved. Yesu nagamba, I've given you power and authority. No so God has given us power so and authority. No so we need to be in a position so of receiving what he has given us. After receiving it, you should use it. Many of us are so much given gifts and even to debt. Many of your friends, many of your relatives, they give you gifts and you, you keep them. You never use any gift. You always keep it your you never use it. Some of you have been given dresses. You, you just keep it. Until when you even become so big that you, it cannot even fit you. <laughs> so God has not given us any gift that we don't have to use it. The moment he gives you a gift, then there is a purpose. Why? Rachi. So all of us so need to utilize this power of God. We need to utilize this power of God. Because this power that is given to us is a gift. 
that is going to operate in a different dimension. It's going to cause you to operate in a different dimension. So the power of God is given to you. So you you put yourself so in a in a position to receive. So how do you put yourself in a position to receive? Just like someone is going to give you a check. When someone is giving you money, money of this kind, so you put yourself in a position to receive. So when I am giving you this money, it's like you your heart opens when your heart opens let me try let me try you who is watching that I, I try to give you this money because if I try to give it to you you will not take it if I use these people they will take it so and now you Receive this money. As you receive this money, so your heart opens up. When your heart opens up, when your heart opens up, it's like joy also gets to be stimulated. Some stress gets off. Because you are receiving money. That's why money is also power. Can change someone's way of feeling. But there is a power I'm talking about. Because money may not even chase the demons. Money may not even cause your name to be written in the book of life. Money may not even cause you defeat the devil. May not even cause you defeat the devil. Rather, it may even be a catalyst for you to be overcome by sin. On the other side is power. But today I'm talking about the power that is beyond money. <laughs> the power that is beyond money. And this power, even money power, obeys this power. Amen. Submits to this power. So the, this is the power and authority that our Lord Jesus Christ gave us. When he gives us this power and authority, we start to see things happening. We start to see ourselves in leadership. We start to see ourselves in position of this making decisions. We start to put ourselves in, in the positions of seeing change in our environment. So if you want to see change in your environment, if you want to see improvement, if you want to see innovations, if you want to see a better direction, so you need this power. You need this authority. So which means in this the application of power and authority is around different items. The devil also comes in to be the opponent over towards this power. Towards this authority. So, because you want this authority and power cause you to be at a certain level. Certain things to listen to you. Certain things to obey you. Certain things to be achieved by you. Because of this power that God has given us. Now, the devil also comes in with his force to make sure that your, the power given to you 
Maybe you don't understand it. Maybe you don't use it. Maybe they put you off. So it's up to you now to understand that I've been given power. I've been given authority. Therefore, this power and authority that has been given to me is not for keeps. It's not to be kept somewhere. No. But to walk by your side. To walk with you. To move with you. To be your defense. To be your security. To be your force. Ladies and gentlemen. This is the time. This is the moment. That your voice. Your voice. Should be heard. Your voice. Should be heard. And your voice. Is going to be heard. And it's going to be obeyed because it's a voice which has power and has authority. So, whatever is around you is subject. Is subject to obedience before your power, before the power and authority Amen. you have. Therefore, brothers and sisters, stop underestimating, stop underestimating the power, the authority God has given you. The power and authority God has given you is going to cause a change. It's going to cause a shift in your life. Therefore, believe you've been praying, you've been interceding, you've been fasting, you've been reading the word of God for you to receive much of this power and much of this authority. Amen. When it comes, when it comes, Get use of it. Because they say. Start to use it. Don't just put it aside. Don't just talk about it. But has to be. In use. Amen. 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 That's what God is doing. Amen. That is what God is doing. In our lives. Uh -huh. In our lives. Uh -huh. Temuchu sanyu kida, kubanga ba diamond baba udida, na yemu sanyu ke, kubanga manya gamwe, gawandi kidwa mugulu. Rabi di mwolu mu, yeah. au musawa eyo, na sanyu kida mumuoyo. In that time we just in the spirit. Mumuoyo mutukufu. In the Holy Spirit. Na gamba, nti nkwe baza. He said, I thank you, Chitange. Father. The Lord of heaven and the earth. For he did things from the wise. And the, 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 the knowledgeable. And you revealed them. To babes. So God has revealed certain things to us. And these things that has revealed to us. Upon a revelation. Upon a revelation. God is going to fountain. Is going to release this power and authority. The power and authority is going to operate on the platform of revelation. To those young ones like myself that have known these words are going to experience the greatness of it. Let me request you to go to the book of John book of John chapter 18 from verse 1 chapter 18 from verse 1 yes when Jesus spoke after Jesus spoke those words, moved out with his disciples, and they crossed over a river Kidron. Where it was a garden, he went there. He and his disciples, uh, verse 2, and Judah, the betrayer, knew that place, because Jesus usually went there with his disciples. After I was given a regiment, a regiment of soldiers, 
army and 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 and, and masters from the priests the high priests and the Pharisees he went with the candle and the reeds and spears verse 4 when Jesus knew these words that would come he told them who are you seeking verse 5 he answered Jesus the Nazareth Jesus said here I am and Judah the betrayer was standing with them yeah. this is the situation where Jesus Jesus used to go a certain place we are getting a much full in which uh, even Judas knew the place in that place the, uh, uh, according to the knowledge of Judas since he even knew the time Jesus would be there yes one so Judas Judah got hold of uh, a battalion and he went with different spears and other weapons to attack who? To attack Jesus. Judas knew it very well that Jesus did not have any battalion. But when they reached that place, they started to search for Jesus. But they couldn't see Jesus. Until Jesus Paka Yesu had to ask them, we are no bubbles. Whom are you looking for? Munonya. The moment you are in a place with God, Nekatonda, that's where Jesus was. Oh, yes, we are. Jesus was praying. Yes, yali asaba. Jesus was interceding. Yes, yali ega irira. Jesus was having a time with God. Ya ino obudde ne katonda. So the more you go to a separate place. Buli roge na nchifeche chama. In the separate place. Mchifeche che chama. Where God sits. Katonda mwatula. Where you also go. Ne jogenda. To desire and listen. Okuyaya na nukulira. From God. In while you are in that place. The devil can look for you. Your enemy can look for you. And may not see you. Amen. Until. Paka, you present yourself. Remember. Jukira, why. Why this Judas. Rachi Yuda, had to come with a battalion. Because Jesus was looking, was like seeking God. In the moment of seeking God, Jesus had to get power, had to get authority. And Judas has seen this man with power and authority. So he thought, if I mobilize, this battalion, that's how I'll be able to touch this man. So they moved. So they started to search for Jesus. You have weapons. You have satellites. You have any magnifying thing that you want to look for Jesus in a separate place with the aim of hurting him you not see him Amen. brothers and sisters when you start now to look for a place where you are going to talk to God where you are going to seek God the devil is going to look for you will not see you because he's looking for you with a bad motive. So even your enemy is who is looking for you, the more he's looking for you, the more you present yourself in the presence of God. The more you separate yourself, the more you set aside yourself. As you set aside yourself, 
There is something new. Something unique that comes into your life. Mm. Yes, continue. Verse 6. When he told them that I am the one, they drew back and fell. So when Jesus, Yesu, the Son of God, Son of God, Son of God, started to introduce himself. When he introduced himself, that I am he. Hey, hey, I am he. Him being am he is power. Because Jesus yes. was too big to introduce himself to Judas to introduce himself to a battalion. God Atonda. Jesus yes. is too big Munene nyo. to come Okuja. into a direct confrontation mu, 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 wenyi wenyi. with the devil. No stand. Because his power Kubanga manjige. is too much manjinyo. that even if he present himself no like this, he just falls down. Amen. So that's why they fall, they fell down. The power hit them. The power hit the battalion. Now, I want to ask you. Which battalion do you have? Which forces around you? What type of your enemy is? Which are those spiritual husbands? If a battalion falls down, now what is that? That can't fall. So the moment you are in a moment of seeking God, let the devil be wise enough. Because he is going to get ashamed. Yes, continue. Yes. Ask them the second time. Who are you seeking for? He had to ask them the second time. Whom are you seeking? They are asking, even they have someone who has been with them. With Jesus. But they have eyes, but they can't see. When you are in the moment of seeking God, every demon that thought he knows you can look for you and cannot be able to see you. Amen. Cannot be able to see you. So you need to find a secret. So we even when a demon of fornication and adultery has been around you for a long time, the moment you start to go back to God, the moment you start to go back to the presence of God, the moment you start to seek God, the moment you pour out all of your heart to him, the moment you start to enjoy the presence of God, as you are busy talking to God, as you are busy having fellowship with God, the devil will be moving around. The devil will be moving around looking for you. Looking for you. But Bypassing you. Bypassing you. Bypassing you. I thought is he. I thought is he. I thought she's the one. But I can't see her. Even the devil is blind. Even the devil is blind. Even the devil is blind. 
you can make devil blind. The moment you seek God, the moment you walk with the presence of God, the devil is going to become blind. Demonic forces, demonic spirits from your ancestors, from your ancestors, they're going to also become blind that they can't see you. They, they start to, to look to see the way they can disorganize your wedding. By the time they see you, <laughs> your wedding is done. <laughs> so by the time, Jesus, I think, uh, felt that it's now time. Let me start to ask these guys. Whom are you looking for? Whom are you looking for? As some of us are so afraid about the devil. You don't have to be afraid about the devil. Because the devil has eyes but cannot see. Amen. It's high time when you go into the presence of God. God tells you, God reveals to you what is going to happen. And God fills you with His power and His authority. Then you come out because this power, this authority has to be exercised before the devil. Stand. It's not before yourself alone, but before the devil. Amen. The power God gives us, the authority power God gives us, should be exercised. Should be exercised in the presence of the devil, in the presence of our enemies, in the presence of whatever situations around you. Some of us, when you see the situation, when we see the situation, it's too hard for us, it's too enemic. <laughs> it's so it's too enemic. So you start to get worried. You start to think uh, you have to hide. No, you don't have to hide. Yes, you can hide until you get the power. Until you get the power. Until you get the authority. The moment you get it, the moment you get it, this power has to be exercised before the devil. This power has to be exercised. Before poverty, this power has to be exercised before sickness. This power has to be exercised before any forces of darkness, before sin, before temptation, before everything. So the power of Jesus Christ could not be hidden. Any longer. Jesus had to work himself up because these guys had such and they are not seeing. Which means, Jesus thought, yes, maybe the time has come. The power I have to start to be exercised, to utilize it, to see how applicable, how powerful it can be. Then he said, guys, <laughs> guys, whom are you looking for? Whom are you looking for? Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I think in his in his heart he just laughed at these guys. Uh, these guys they don't know they are talking to Jesus. I'm he. They fell down. And then he asked them the second time. What happened the second time? He asked them the second time. He asked them the second time. Yes. Who are you seeking for? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered and he said I'm telling you that I am he I told you that I am he uh -huh. so if you are seeking me let this go now if you are looking for me then let these others go uh -huh. But the one is not people filled that those who gave to me I did not lose any. So, this power is so powerful is so strong that can hide Jesus Yesu. and everyone. Then he said 
if you are looking for me, if you are looking for me, then, if you are looking for me, then, leave this earth to go. Leave others to go. Yes, continue. Simon Peter then Simon Peter had a sword not, not drew it and cut off the ear of the servant the high priest cut off the right ear and the name of the, 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 the servant was Marcus Jesus told Peter back, put back the, the sword in his sheath the cup my father has given me I should then I drink it so the arrangement of soldiers and their masters and the servants of the Jews they heard Jesus and they binded him they took him to Hanafas because he was in Notokephas he was a high priest in that year gave the Jews wisdom that it is worthy for one person to die for others. Simon Peter and the other disciple followed Jesus. So the other disciple was known as the high priest entering Jesus in the compound of the high priest but Peter was standing outside on the door so that disciple who was known by the high priest moved out and spoke spoke with a, 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 a girl who shuts the doors and she brought in Peter. So, so that, that, that the doorkeeper told Peter that you are among the disciples of this man. Said, no, I am not among them. 18. The, 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 the servants. The main servants were standing there. They had lit the fire. Because it was cold. So they were warming up. And Peter. And Peter was with them standing. Uh, warming up. So the high priest asked Jesus, 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 the words of the disciples, the words of his disciples, the words of his teaching, just yes, answered, so I preached loudly MC. the word. I always taught in the synagogues and in the temples. Where all the Jews congregate. I don't speak discreetly any word. Why are you asking me? Ask those who used to hear me. What I spoke to them. See. They know what I spoke. Verse 22. When he spoke that. One of the servants standing before him. Slapped Jesus. Said, How can you answer? You, you answer the, 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 the high priest in this way. Just stayed. I spoke wrong. Let him be holding me. But if it is good. Why is slapping me? 24. Anna served her when she was imprisoned. the high priest. Simon Peter was standing. Warming up. I told him. Among his disciples. He denied. He said, I'm not among. Yes. Praise the Lord. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. This is the example we have. This is our star we have. This is our confidence we have. The moment we have him, we have light. The Bible says, we are alone read a scripture which says, whosoever that has, has a son has life. Has life. So ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have children, Jesus, you can have life. Don't be afraid. Jesus, yes, he surrendered. He gave himself in order to accept the cup. To accept the will of God. 
In other words, much as we are given power, given authority, we can exercise the power and authority given to us by the person who has given us. And that person, he can even tell us, you can reduce yourself, then we can reduce ourselves. But however much, we reduce ourselves. The devil has no power. Unless Jesus has allowed him to touch him. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to receive. Today you are going to receive. Today you are going to exercise. Today you are going to experience. Today Jesus, Son of the Living God, is coming to your life. He is changing your life. It's moving with you. You are going to confront authorities around you. You are going to confront authorities around you. Battalions around you. So the battle we are fighting, the weapons we are having are going to be exercised within the jurisdictions of other authorities. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank God for different authorities that are around you because all different authorities, all of them have power, have authority. So God is putting his son, is putting you into a position, into a position, into a ring of other authorities that other authorities will come to a point to understand there is a big authority there is a bigger power beyond ladies and gentlemen I don't know what is disturbing you I don't know what whether you have a cancer I don't know whether you have headaches I don't know whether you have a, 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 you are anemic you have you are anemic you, you may be maybe you are The Lord Jesus is going to exercise Amen. his power in your life. Yeah. Alright. Um, let's go to John chapter 19. John chapter 19. Let's read from verse 9. Yokana kumi na muendo romuenda. Yes. Na ingira na temu chigango. So he entered into the, 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 the pool. Na gamba yesu nti. Told Jesus. Oliwa. Where are you? Na ye yesu na, na tamu damu. But Jesus did not answer. Nure kumi. Awo pirato na mu gamba nti. So Pilate answered. Toyo gera na ange. You don't, don't you speak to me. Toma ninga ni nobu yinza. Don't you know that I have authority. Obo kukuta. To kill you. Era ni nobu yinza. And I have authority. Obo kukukomere. To spare you, to crucify you. Now Pilate is talking to his master. Pilate ayo gera ni mkama we. Pilate is talking to his creator. Pilate ayo gera ni mtonzi we. He humbled himself. Ye kakanya. While he was a creator. Nga mtonzi. He humbled himself. Ye kakanya. While he was a king. Ya deyari kabaka. Now. Kati. Now. Kati. This. Gentile. Ono munagwanga. This Gentile. Ono munagwanga. This local person. Ono muntu wabulijoo. Called Pilate. Is, is also given power to think that he's also a king. Now that Jesus Yesu, who is the creator oyomotonzi. the real king the king of kings is now talking he's trying to, to, to have a discussion with Pilate. Pilate. Then Pilate says Pilate gamba, don't you know tochimanyi. that I have the power Kininamanyi. that I have the power Kininamanyi. now power Amanyi. Is trying to provoke power. Power is trying to talk to power. What did Jesus say? Yes, we are Yes, Jesus answered. He said, "You wouldn't have an authority on me. If it wasn't given you from above." 
He has, he has given me in your hands. That's why he carries most sin. You see? You would not have power or authority if it wasn't given to you. So it's Jesus so, yes. with his father that gave Pilate power. Now, how can you boast over someone who has given you power? He's the one who gives you power. And you're boasting in, it, in that power. So as you're busy boasting in that power, he can even get it away from you. And then you are boasting over someone. So, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, that sickness, that disease, that problem, that demon, cannot even have power. But, unless God has allowed it. But the moment, God says, no, it will not have power. Amen. So I appeal to you that the moment you have the power, you are going to exercise it. You are going to use it. And it's going to be effective in the lives of the people. In your life. It's going to get a platform for you. In the name of Jesus. So don't fight a battle without an enemy then that is not a battle. You need to fight a war with enemies around you. You need to fight with certain forces around you. So today, we are fighting the enemy. Yes. Mm. Pilate planned to kill him. But you spoke loudly. When they just spoke loudly. Saying, if you kill him, then you are not a friend to Caesar. Everyone who makes himself king opposes Caesar. When Pilate so, he brought, he brought Jesus out and sat on the judgment seat in, 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 in the place of God's throne. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time. This is, this is the hour. Invite every sick person. Invite every person that is, has been frustrated. This is the time to invite authorities. This is the time to invite the devil. This is the time to invite whosoever that has intimidated you for a long time. This is the time as we go in as we go into the battlefield, let our battlefield be surrounded. Be surrounded by our enemy. Be surrounded by our enemy. We have you have an enemy. Come along. Come along with your enemy. Invite your enemy. As we go into the presence of God. As we go into a prayer moment. As we go into a prayer moment. Come on, invite someone. Come on, invite every sick person. Come on, invite any person that needs to test. Who needs to test. To, to see the power of God. To see the presence of God. To see the power of God. The power of God. It's available to now. It's about to heal the sick. It's about to redeem persons. It's about to rescue someone. It's about to bring life. It's about to bring freedom. Jesus is the Son of God. And His power is going to be seen. His power is going to be seen. It's going to uproot whatsoever 
Whatever pain you have been with for some time, there is a pain you have been with for some time. There is an agony you have been with for a long time. Today, the power of Jesus is a variable. The power of Jesus is here to touch you, to redeem you, to set you free. And today, you are about to raise up your hands. You are about to you're about to be set free. You're about to rise up. You're about you're about to walk You're about to smile Your smiling moment Is about to reach Jesus is here Jesus is here Jesus is here Jesus is here Your enemy Sickness disease The powers of darkness Could not have power Unless the Lord Had permitted But now His time is over Devil's time is over Time, the time of the devil is over. The time for that sickness is over. The time of challenge is over. The time of confronting the power of God is over. Now is the time that the name of Jesus be thou glorified. Be thou glorified. Lord Jesus, we glorify your name. Lord Jesus, we glorify your name. Lord Jesus, we praise you so much. Lord Jesus, we honor you so much. Lord Jesus, we uplift you. Lord Jesus, we thank you. Lord Jesus, you are so powerful. Lord Jesus, you are so great. We adore you, King of Kings. We glorify your name. We are we bring ourselves before you. We ask you to forgive, to take away all the doubts, to take away all the unbelief that we had in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, today, today, we want to have to, to that association. We, we have to have that association. We, do, we have to have that fellowship with you, with you, with you, with you, with you, with you. Lord Jesus, speak to us, speak to each one of us, transform each one of us, transform each one of us. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Within a while, within a while, power of God, the power of God is here to heal us. The power of God is here to set us free. The power of God is here to raise you up. The power of God is here. Is here. Is here. Is here. You are about to speak to whatever demon force. You are about to speak to the devil. You are about to speak to whatever situation that has been confronting you. You are about to speak in the name of of Jesus. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you. Father, I thank you that you have given us power and authority. Right now, we stand in that power. We stand in this authority you have given us to confront, to attack, to wage war over the devil, all the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, as we introduce ourselves, as you cause us to be present, as you cause us to be present, in your presence, every demonic force, every attack of the enemy, every evil spirit, every sickness, every disease, every innocent Every, every witchcraft, all the witchcraft, the spiritual husbands, in the name of Jesus, the spiritual husbands, in the name of Jesus, you are in danger, you are in danger right now, you are in danger right now, in the name of Jesus, evil spirits, evil spirits, in the name of Jesus, you are in danger, Father I thank you, Lord, I thank you that your power is here. Your power is here to set us free in the name of Jesus. Father, we surrender. Father, we surrender. Father, we surrender. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is power, power, wonder-working power 
in the precious blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is power. Anointing, anointing, and a working anointing in the blood of the Lord. Hallelujah. There is anointing, anointing, what a working anointing.
Right now, we pull down every stronghold. Every evil spirit that has frustrated you for a long time. It will not touch you again. I feel that the devil has no power again to touch you. God is going to encircle you with his presence. And the demonic evil spirit is going to look for you and will not be able to see you. God is healing you and God is setting your life. 
you are going to see the breath of life coming back in your life. You are going to start to feel the energy coming back in your life. You are going to feel the strength is coming back in your life. Jesus is coming. Jesus is visiting you. Jesus is smiling. He's smiling at you. He's smiling at you. Hope is coming back again. Ladies and gentlemen, your redemption has come. You've waited for a long time. Jesus to touch you. Right now is healing you. Right now is setting your life free. The time to rise up. The time to be healed. The time to be strong. The time to rise up again has come. You are going to start to feel to get divine dreams coming to you. Nightmares are disappearing because they don't have power over your life. Oh, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As you watch on the screen, there is a number you can call us and you can send your testimony. And you can join in prayer conference direct with us. So you send your message. If you've never liked this page, it's time to like the page. This is your time. This is your moment. Jesus is visiting you. He's setting you free. As we close, we're going to ask some Gloria to lead us in that song. Yeah. 
Jesús. 